Hello, this is Piers from Jersey Laser Scanning. Um, I've had a few requests recently to uh, get some assistance getting um, the 3D model that I have generated in Revit into Archicad and ensure it's supporting point clouds. Cloud or clouds are in there as well. Um, this video is designed to show you the Revit end, how we get to Archicad and most importantly how to import uh, the 3d model and the point cloud uh, so the experts um, in archicad can then start manipulating the file as they see fit and uh, doing what they do within that that area so first of all here is uh, revit in this case this is an old file um, when i say an old file uh, three years old or so um, 3d view from revit um, with a point cloud in there, all formatted for Revit and things like that. Uh, it's very straightforward to generate uh, something called an IFC, Industry Foundation Class Export, a bit like exporting to DWG 3D model. This exports to IFC, just another file type. Um, I also take the point cloud, which is sitting in the background, which is the um, RCP format required by Autodesk products. Um, so it can make the point cloud visible here and we change that to an E57 file format. Then we should have all the material that we need to import into Archicad. So let me show you. So let's go to Archicad. Uh, so this is the Archicad um, model which I have managed to import. I'm just going to increase the size of that and when I need to refer to this I'll just refer to the Revit model here. You can see it's the same file here. Um, it is geo-referenced as is the point cloud um, so they, what we're going to do is make sure it all comes in using the geo-referencing. So this is the um, Archicad 20 five demo I haven't got a license for Archicad but they uh, Archicad are very kind in the respect that I can um, use a free trial license um, uh, and when I pay for it then I'll be able to save models otherwise I would be generating the Archicad uh, files and uploading them to the normal places that I do for my clients but I can't do that because it costs me money um, or disproportionate amounts of money so I'm making this video to show you how to do it yourselves uh, so let's start from scratch um, it's important to know that some of the settings I've changed will persist within here. So I'll try and click through and make sure that I've changed some of the appropriate settings. We'll go all the way out. So we'll start Archicad from the very beginning. Um, so Archicad 25, open. Brand new start screen, fine. Now. I haven't got a license, so I'm going to run without a license, saving disabled. That's completely loud and fine. I'm going to progress through using whatever default templates that it has recommended or defaulted to. And we have an open empty file. To get the IFC 3D model into Archicad in the correct place I go through the open method rather than the interoperability method so getting the the file the 3d model in first I'm going to open there now, I've saved it all in one particular place uh, other, but you'll have to navigate to wherever you've put um, these files um, so we're going for the IFC uh, this is the IFC log. Um, I don't normally include that, but it's background information on um, more about the IFC model. I've selected the IFC model. I'm going to click open. <clears throat> Continue with the default option embedded library. In comes the IFC. And 
it appears to stop moving um, or rather uh, processing in the background doing whatever it was doing importing um, I am not massively familiar with ARCHICAD but I know enough to know that um, the level 0 is here and if I wanted to go to 3D all and I go to the fit in window button down here on the bottom left hand side and then very carefully make sure I don't place anything but I press the O key so I can orbit here is the model so I've got it in um, I found that using the magnet key up here um, will enable me to select things which if I get rid of the orbit option um, that Archicad considers an object which is a combination of things which are a bit too complicated but it's very easy to select other things like walls and so on but I found that the magnet key allows you to select it manipulate it and, uh, and break it down or ungroup it further I think that's what these green lines mean around the outside however how do we know that's in the right place um, so let's go back to level zero <coughs> um, let's fit to the window so in theory what we're doing by looking at this point here uh, is when I go back to the rivet model go to the same sort of place what I'm going to do is turn off this point cloud here so you can see what I'm looking at we are currently looking at project um, a project base point, uh, a survey point, and a project base point in the Revit file. What this is is um, what appears to be the survey point equivalent. And if I go to ground floor plan and make sure that I fit in window, you can see this um, bold X here um, is what appears to be the survey point um, at least in the X and Y coordinate side of things but when I move my mouse around here oh the way you get this coordinate system up here as well by the way I'm sure you know this if you work in ARCHICAD already but you go to windows palettes and then coordinates and then this box will appear we're going to use this box shortly so we've got the IFC model in we think that the survey point is in the right sort of place but we can't get the coordinates to identify something that we recognize um, so a few things we want to do what well, I do in order to make it look the way I want it to is I go to options project preferences working units I know that I generated everything in meters so I'm just going to simplify it I'm sure you can change this afterwards but I just want to make sure it's the same as it possibly can be and then I'm sure you could change it to millimeters if you're working in interior design and things like that so <clears throat> I've changed uh, the distance sort of meters to uh, distance units to meters um, and we are still getting distances relative to this point so what I want to do is move that point to where in theory the project origin is is set um, <clears throat> and if I go to the project origin if I click on the cert well I'm not going to refer to the names in Revit because it'll just be confusing because some of them are counterintuitive to what's going on here or equally opposite so if I click on that you can see these coordinates are where the survey point was on the roof of this garage and that's where they are there so I want to move that to wherever the 0000, 000, 000 point is on ARCHICAD the way to do that is to go to double click on the zero level plan view haven't quite figured out how to get a, a complete site plan view in ARCHICAD yet um, but uh, again that's not really for me I'm just using this to get to where I need to get to um, which is importing a, a Revit file through IFC into ARCHICAD um, so we're on the zero 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 level this button up here <coughs> shows the survey points I want to show the survey coordinates so uh, when we go to the survey point it'll be displaying the coordinates there I don't want to play with project north I do want to zoom to the survey point whilst in this ground level view so I'm zooming to the survey point and here is a survey point which as you can see is these coordinates off to the west so a minus easting 
um, in meters in the Jersey transverse Mercator um, and off to the south so a minus northing and at elevation zero that's exactly what I want to see so I'm going to quickly check these figures um, here is the survey point in rivet so it is north by 64911 so this this point here is correspondingly off south by 64911 and the other rest of the coordinates are fine east and west is um, minus 43055 and that's east 43055 so we're looking good now what I want to do <coughs> is move that bold X that was right in the middle of the project which we knew to be the survey point over here and then in theory if I click that and hover my mouse over the middle and click that bold X has now been moved here that means whenever I look on this point here which is the, the the coordinates of what's going on on the model and I move here to the right you can see that X and Y so this figure up to the the top part here should be increasing as I move to the right that's a number of meters away from there which is great um, now if I click fit in window again obviously it's not going to zoom across because there's no modeling effectively in this because it's at the zero level and sits way underneath the model well a, a, a enough number of meters that there's nothing there so I'm going to go to ground floor plan I'm still looking at the survey point which is way off to the west and south I then click on model because there is modeling at this level that it can see within its depth view range in ARCHICAD I now I still have an X in there but it's not the bold X this is another type of origin that ARCHICAD uses um, which is fine but if I now move my mouse around you can see that the coordinate system up here is the right distance to the east and the right distance to the north from the survey point and the um, what do they call it it's user origin which are now set together way off to the west and south down here so we've got where we need to get to <clears throat> um, I, I haven't also haven't quite figured out why the coordinates um, don't uh, show the same sort of distances when in 3d but this model is all linked and, and looking at the same place um, so we have the IFC model in the correct place and when you look at it in plan view we've got the right coordinate system or at least we verified we're in the right place so let's go and have a look at getting the I-57 uh, E-57 point cloud format in important thing to start with is get back to the zero level so at the zero level again that's that light colored X which we know sits underneath the model I want to use this button up here to zoom to the survey point so here, near here we now have focused on at the zero level the survey point and the user origin and that's where we're going to start the process so I'm going to go to file interoperability import point clouds left click now my file is, is, is within here this should just be a single e57 file this is another supporting document open I want to create and place I want to make sure that I get it in the right spot so I'm going to press create and place place point cloud origin at project origin uh, the most success I've had is specifying the point cloud origin location manually so I'm going to click that I would definitely want it on the home level because I'm looking at that now I'm going to click OK now it's waiting for me to place it so I go in make sure I click on the center point which they're both zeroed in on both at the same zero level I left click <clears throat> appears to have stopped thinking which is good uh, I'm going to go to ground uh, ground floor plan fit in window the 
So there comes the 3D model, um, the um, well, the model, generally the whole model, um, but the ground floor plan perspective. Now I know I have to wait some time for the 3D bit to come in, but I'm just waiting a moment here to see if the point cloud comes in here as well. Because now we're looking at the right sort of level, so the point cloud should be in this area. Now it may be a visibility setting, um, so what I'm going to do is show you what I know to be true. I'm going to go to the 3D area <clears throat> and the point cloud is in. Um, so if I press my O button, which is for orbit, I can move around here and the point cloud and the 3D model appear to be aligned. I did spot this. This is um, something I did a long time ago. Um, uh, and uh, it is matched off against the ridge heights of the roof. Um, but uh, the rest of the roof um, point cloud is actually underneath this. So one could select it and then move it. Um, so I hope that helps. Um, point cloud, 3D model in the same place in ARCHICAD. Um, and then I'm going to have it I have to hand it over to you experts in ARCHICAD about how you manipulate it going forward. All right, thank you very much.